Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're going back to Gelato Beach to do shine number four. The Sandbird is born. Yeah, the Sandbird that was hyped up for like one episode in, in my walkthrough. If you actually talk to the residents of this area, they'll hype this up a lot more. They'll be like, oh yeah, this the legendary Sandbird egg is in trouble and stuff like that. And uh, yeah. So now what you want to do is go up to the top and enter that tower over there. And what you got to do to get up there is simply follow the path that I'm taking here. Um, you can do this a couple ways, just like you can do any shiny couple of ways, really. Um, like you're going to see, there's a doom bud over here. You can either spray it to make stairs come out until you can get up there, or you can just like wall jump there, which is a lot faster and, and in my opinion, a lot easier to do. Because for some reason, that uh, doom bud sprout there... It's, it's hard to keep a steady spray on it. I don't know why. Um, now once you get up here... Oh, up here. That reminds me of something nasty later on that I'm dreading doing. Anyway, you slide down here and jump and you get off to the edge. Then you jump on this trampoline and you're into the sandbird. Well... Oh wait, that that's the egg inside there? Oh, I guess that shiny thing at the top wasn't the egg. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put a note there in the, next, in the last video or something about what I said there. And what you gotta do is collect the uh, red coins here. This is actually really easy to do as long as you don't jump. Um, just grab one coin at a time. See that when I jump there? What happens is that you fall behind the sandbird just a little bit. So anyway, quickly grab the red coins like that. But also carefully at the same time so you don't accidentally run, your, run yourself off. There's four blue coins in this area, which I'm not going to get right away, of course, because I'm going to save them for later. And once you're on its tail, just stay on its tail, because it's going to eventually flip off to the, over to the side, like, like what it's doing right now. And when it gets to a 45 degree angle, just walk on over to the side of it, and you'll be good to go like that. Now just wait for it to flip back over, and your last coin is on top of that tower in the middle of this special area here. And if you look underneath the sandbird, it's really weird. It's got like little indentations. Oh, underneath the blocks! Boo boo! Alright, I got the seventh coin on the tail, so I just gotta wait for it to do its little flip over thing. And survive it this time. And here we go. It's starting to angle itself, wait for the 45 degrees, and flop over like that. Look out for that blue coin there so you don't collect it accidentally. Or I should say so I don't collect it accidentally, unless you want to get them now. The blue coins are all on the clouds in this area. Uh, they're kind of annoying to get in their own way. But they are indeed possible, and I'll be covering them later. And there we go, we're safe. We won't flip back over again until it gets really high later on. But now what you want to do is wait until the wing gets... Wait, wait, maybe I shouldn't be waiting. I actually forgot the sequence of events here. Um, I just, I just want to be sure I don't fall off here again. Because I have to be high enough to get on top of that tower with the hover. And, oh wait, I got it! I got it! There we go, and here's the 8th coin. Woo! As well as your Shine Sprite, of course. So collect it and get out of here! Well, you'll be back later. Alright, the next shine is Il Piantismo's Sand Sprint. It's basically a race against this guy that they're going to show right about here. Oh, you got to get up to that flag over there, but I already showed you how to get up there before, but this time you're going to have to use wall kicks to get up there, just like I showed you in the first part, instead of that doom bud. So I guess it's a good idea to practice that in the last shine anyway. So there's this guy here. He's a oh, really, really overconfident athlete in a Pianta suit for, for whatever reason. He's like, I am El Piantismo, and now we shall race to that flag! And then he'll ask if you want to. Even though he'll he says we will race to that flag, he'll say if you want to. It's like, oh wait, maybe, oh wait, man, I'm thinking of another one. Never mind. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to beat the bounce into him. <laughs> so anyway, triple jump when you get to or just screw it up. <laughs> oh man, I'm really messing up on this race. Oh poopers. 
Well, like, I guess it'll be okay, maybe. Just bulk up there and take a shortcut across this right here if you can, like that, by cover nozzle and... Okay, that really wasn't that hard, and I made a lot of mistakes there. <laughs> and he's finally here. I thought you were a very good athlete, and you were very confident in your skills, and thanks for the compliment, and I'll give you my thanks, Shine Sprite. Grab it and go! And the next one in Gelato Beach is Red Coin in the Coral Reef. Uh, this is another small section of this level that I didn't show you just yet. Um, oh, I shouldn't have clicked through that real quick because that's actually kind of a beautiful scene there. Um, well, it, at least it's beautiful to me because I kind of like coral and stuff like that. Well. Anyway, go over to here, and you can see it right now. There's the Coral Reef. Um, there is two coins in each section of the Coral Reef here, and there's two coins in a school of fish. Like, is this the school of fish that has the coin? No. There's a school of fish with a blue coin, but I don't want that. Like, you'll see there's section one here, and then there's section two just over there, and then section three is off to that area. You also got oh I see I see I can get one in these with these fish here. These are these ones with the fish here are kind of tricky to get because the coin actually runs away from you, so it's always moving. But I got one of them now. Oh there's cheap cheeps here. Uh, watch us. Come on, come on, grab me. Grab me. It doesn't hurt you, but they just pull me down to the bottom and then they let go. But it's it's kinda of silly in a way. The, the, their objective is entirely to hinder you, but since this water isn't very deep, it doesn't really hinder you all that much. Um, there's a coin there. Looking for... Oh, I see it, I see it. You know what's funny about this? Coral is really, really sharp and abrasive, and you can get cut by it, but yet, Mario swims through it with no trouble whatsoever. Here's the other one. Yeah! The ones that the, the fish carry are a lot harder than the ones in the coral reefs, because as I said, they're always moving. But anyway, how can Mario just go right through here without any trouble whatsoever? I mean, this is coral we're talking about. Look at this! It's so sharp, he should be cut to ribbons. And his cut's infected with coral juices and stuff like that. Okay, it's not juices, I'm just being weird now. Climb up to the top, Mario, thank you. And there should be another red coin in this little alcove here, if I'm not mistaken. Yup, grab that. What the heck was that? <laughs> That's number seven. Number eight should just be right at this edge here, and yep, there it is. And then the Shine Sprite will appear on top of the only part of the coral reef that sits above the water. Maybe that's rocks, not coral, but inside here is definitely coral. But you know, you know, this stuff right here, this might be rocks. This right here. But anyway, grab the Shine, stop crushing the gate logic, and go to the next one. The seventh Shine Sprite of Gelato Beach is, you guessed it, another Shadow Mario chase and battle. Uh, though I wouldn't really call these battles of sorts, he just runs away from you in a certain area. And so, as usual, his weakness is water. Uh, this shouldn't give you much trouble at all, though he does have a lot more moves. Oh, I should mention this stuff right here. See this weird wavy stuff here? I have no idea what it is. It's like some sort of fiery force field. But you need a certain thing to get rid of that. And that's why I can't get certain blue coins and certain shines right now. Just saying. But I'll explain how to get rid of that later. Don't worry. And just follow him along. Heck. <laughs> climbing up. Look at him crawl up the <laughs> crawl up the slope there without any flood there. And then following him and keep spraying him. He'll eventually go down if you keep spraying him. And, oh, he's really vulnerable there. Oh yeah, you're down. It ain't over until it's over. And it's over. Shine sprites for the win! Alright, the 8th normal Shine Sprite of Gelato Beach is the Watermelon Festival. Oh boy! I'm really dreading this one. Um, see that guy over there? 
you have to bring him a prize-winning watermelon. There's the contestants you have to beat. There are bigger watermelons on the beach than those three, so you would think you could just grab any watermelon you want to. Oh, no, no. He doesn't want any of the other watermelons. He wants a specific one, even though he doesn't seem to know it yet. He just knows that he wants a really big one, and ow! As I said, red catacquacks, when they... Ah, shoot, 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 shoot! <laughs> <laughs> They're passing me around like a volleyball. No, stop that! Holy mother! <laughs> this never happened before. Stop doing that! Let me go! Let <laughs> I think I'm gonna die because of this. <laughs> well, that was new. Anyway, you want to climb up to that area that ended the Piantismo race, you know, the, where the flight was, and that's where the biggest watermelon is. So it's not that far of a trek, but getting the watermelon down from there is like... Oh, holy mother of pearl. Um, because those cataquacks there, they're very aggressive as you see there. And they're out to get not only you, but anything that crosses its path, including watermelons. Now, you would think a watermelon is a very durable fruit. Well... Actually, no! Not in this game. Pretty much everything makes these watermelons pop. Oh, boy. As I said, I'm not really excited about this one. So, let's just get this over with right away, I guess. This could go either really well or really badly. And I'm expecting it's going to go really badly a lot of times. Okay, so you got this watermelon. This is the prize-winning watermelon. It's huge, and surprisingly, it's as light as a feather. <laughs> and what you gotta do is you take it to that fruit stand, which is way, way, way over there. See that? Way over by the coral reef there? Um, yeah, so what, what you wanna do is push it off this ledge. This is my method of it, because there's cataquacks everywhere. You just gotta be lucky for this. Push it off the ledge and follow it. Get it off to as far to that side as you can. Oh, looks like it's going to be safe. Spray that cataclysm. Yeah! I got it. I, oh, no, no, no. You're not getting that watermelon. You are getting that watermelon. And get... No! All right, if your watermelon pops, another one will appear from the start. That's why this one's so annoying, because they, because they keep popping on you, and you keep losing. And I bet you that one's going to get popped over there because it landed in that close cataclysm there. Or, wait, maybe I'm gonna get lucky here. Wait, wait, I think I got really lucky there. Oh, oh, this one looks like a good run. This one looks like a really good run. Is this gonna be a two-try run? Man, I hope so. Now what you gotta do is get it across the pier here. Or dock, whatever you want to call it. And do not let it fall in the water. Carefully get it there. And I mean... Carefully. Don't mess this up. <laughs> Seriously. Go on. Don't pop! I think it also pops if it hits those um, posts that are holding the pier up. So, don't let it touch those either. Just keep it in the center as much as you possibly can. And this one, this does look like it's going to be a good run. This looks like it's going to be a really good run. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to poop myself because I think I'm going to get this in two shots. Yes, I got it! And now he's going to say yeah, he doesn't have to even measure the watermelon because he knows I've got the biggest one in the area. He's going to put it on the juicer, which is on the roof for some reason. And that will give you a Shine Sprite. Maybe it's inside... No, wait, it, it wasn't inside, excuse me. The prize was inside this glass container. I forgot about that. I was going to say it's inside the watermelon, but that's not the case. Now watch this. If, if you touch these blades, they hurt. But if you grab the Shine Sprite, you'll be able to stand on the blades magically, and they won't hurt. Why is that? Well, anyway, that's enough for this part. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part. Saving!